gosh. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, this is Hannah Loves Books and today I have a haul and a unboxing to do for you. June haul and unboxing, even though it's like the middle or the 7th of July when I'm filming this. I'm not sure when I'll post this, but yeah. I have got many books. Like I started off with only like this many books and I'm like okay I'm like I'm not gonna buy that many books pretty much all the books I bought I read already but then I ended up seeing the five dollar gift card or five dollars off um, your purchase on book outlet and I needed to buy books then and then I went to this book warehouse and I needed to buy books so I have many books to show you so let's just get right into it I'm gonna try to do a summary of the books that you probably never heard of but I'm gonna try to pick up the pace. Okay. First, these books you've probably already seen on my channel, but I'm just going to include them since I got them this month. I'll just go through them really quickly. The first book I don't think you've seen, but I actually bought this like two months ago. I just forgot to include it in the haul. And it's Conspiracy of Blood and Smoke by Anne Blankman. And this is the second book in the Prisoner of Night and Fog duology. I read Prisoner of Night and Fog two months ago and I really enjoyed it, so I decided to get this book also and yes i'm really excited to read it and if you have read this book let me know the seller by natasha preston i got this at target and it's about a kidnapping um i did read this this month and i will link the um wrap up down below i read it in june then i got lux um, I got the second bind up of Opal and Origin. This is Consequences. I got this this month because I had the first bind up in the last book. I just didn't have this one. So I got it off of Amazon and I'm really excited to read this. But I hate the cover. Like, I hate it so much. <laughs> From a Distant Star by Karen McQuestion. And I did th read this book also this month. I will link the wrap up down below so you can hear my thoughts about this. But this is a, a sci fi book. So, yes. Okay, so, let's get into the books that I got at the warehouse. Um, these first two books are from the same author, and I can't pronounce his name. It, it's like, I think it's like a fake name, but it's, I don't really know. I'll put it right here. Um, but I bought two books from him, and they're not real books. Well, one is and one isn't. The first book I got is a hardcover, actually. It was 70% off, which is really good. And it's called Write This Book. And this book shows you how to write a mystery and it like helps you and you can write it in this book. I think it just sounds so interesting if you don't know I love to write and I love mysteries and I've always wanted to write a mystery so I think this will be a really fun book and look at the hardcover. Like oh my goodness it's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. Oh it's upside down. That's that's is it? No. Is it? Yes. <laughs> and then I got this and it's called and it says if you're reading this it's too late and that's the name of the book and I that really intrigued me and I don't really know much about this my sister picked it out for me but apparently the chapters start starts from it's like a backwards book it starts from chapter like 30 something and it goes to chapter 1 33 and it goes to chapter 1 this sounds really interesting there's some pictures in it. Um, I think this is going to be an interesting read and I'm excited. It's called The Secret Series and this is the second book. If you have read The Secret Series, the first book is The Name of This Book is Secret, then let me know because I don't know if I can read this without reading the first one. I'm, I'm guessing it's a companion novel, but I don't know. So Next book I got was I actually heard of from my sister. She, she was like, oh, you should read this. So I put it on my to read list and it wasn't like very high but on my to read list, but then I saw it at the bookstore and I'm like oh I should get it so it's called Bloody Jack by L.A. Meyer and this is I'm pretty sure this is a middle grade novel um, and this is about a girl who wants to be a pirate but the problem is she's a girl and I guess you can't be a pirate a girl pirate in this book um, but apparently they need someone to read something I guess off a treasure map or something and she knows how to read so I think that sounds really interesting if you don't know you probably you don't know I absolutely love fantasy pirates they're like so cool and I love them so much so I really am excited to read this and it's rated so well in Goodreads it's a hardcover which is nice and it is also a series I like this hardcover because it has a little anchor and then the spine is cool 
this book I've heard absolutely nothing nothing about and it's called the all the truth that's in me by Julie Berry and I thought this cover intrigued me and the title intrigued me so what I know is it's about four years ago this girl and her best friend disappeared two years ago she came back but she was she without her best friend and she's mutilated like her, I don't I'm pretty sure she's something happened so she can't speak anymore so no one talks to her anymore her family doesn't speak to her it's probably a mystery but the back it sounds really cool it says no one calls me by my name younger children do not know it I remind myself each day at sunrise lest one day I forget so I think that sounds really intriguing it didn't say but it came signed which it just doesn't say so I think I got a bargain there the last book I got there is a book you have heard of and it's Paper Towns by John Green I was very hesitant on picking this up I wasn't really planning to um, because you know I don't really care for contemporaries and um, yeah I don't know but my friend kept talking about it and I hear it all over Goodreads and the movies coming out I'm in all over YouTube booktube and good reads. Um, so I just decided to buy it and I'm planning on reading it this month. So. Alright, let's get into the <laughs> look at my baby sisters. Um haul. Oh, the the unboxing. There we go. I'm so excited for these books you don't even know. Ow. Yeah, no I mean I can get her with baby scissors, of course. Oh I'm I'm just gonna try to keep checking if I'm bleeding. Oh, I keep saying ow. Ah! There we go. Ah. <laughs> and there's tons of this stuff. So the first book I see here is The Beginning of After by Jennifer Castle. And this, uh, this cover, the title intrigued me. And what it was under is under like mystery, I'm pretty sure. Not mystery. Dark elements. I don't know what it was under, but it triggered me because I had just read um, If I Stay and I just watched the movie. So it kind of reminds me of If I Stay. You'll hear it in a second. So it's about a girl and her parents and her brother. I want to say her siblings. I'll just say her siblings because I'm not sure, exactly sure. Get Die in a car accident. And a drunk driver hit them and that's how they die. The drunk driver also killed his wife. And I'm pretty sure his son was in the car. I'm not 100% positive. But she has to live her life and go back to school. And she has no family left, I'm pretty sure. And so it's about her trying to um, cope with that. And she she gets starts to get to know the boy whose dad killed her family. And also his mom. If that makes sense. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right. I hope that makes sense. If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. Um, this is by, about a girl. And I was really in the mood for dark books. I don't know why. About a girl named Carrie. And her and her sister, Janessa, I'm pretty sure. They both live in a um, camper. A hidden camper in the woods, deep in the woods. And they live with their mother, but she's very unreliable and she's mentally ill. One day she leaves, she disappears forever and pretty much presumed dead, I'm pretty sure. And so people, two strangers come and take them away from the woods and to real high school. So it's her going to real high school for the first time. Carrie must come to terms with the truth of why their mother spirited her away ten years ago. She is haunted by the past that won't let her go. A dark past that hides a secret of why Janessa hasn't spoken a word in over a year. So I thought it was gripping. The cover is gripping. Yeah, so I just decided to get this book. All the um, Fake ID by Lamar Giles, I'm pretty sure. I've heard of this. My sister said, oh, you should add this to your to-read list. And then I saw it. <gasps> oh, um, book outlet. So this is about a man, boy, his name is Nick Patterson. And per Pearson, not Patterson. Not interesting, I guess. He's trying to figure out his friend's murder, um, his sister. and Or he should stay low like the program has taught him. I don't know anything about the program. So cover 
Raphael, who is supposed to die by April Henry. And this is about it uh, plotting whether to kill her or not in a cabin. She's in a cabin, she was kidnapped, or she should run, so. Or, and that she should run. That she knows that she should run. There we go. I think the cover looks really creepy. And yeah, it's really, really short. Like, super short. So I probably could read this really quickly. So I've heard of, I'm pretty sure, I want to say from Bookish and Nerdy. But I'm not exactly sure. Nearly Gone by Ellie Cosmino. And her name is Nearly. And she um, is with ads and she knows all about them and she finds out that a serial killer is going around town um, killing girls and the serial killer um, cryptic ads in the newspaper nearly might be the only person who can put all the clues together and she doesn't and if she doesn't figure it out soon she'll be next and that was really super gripping to me um was kind of cool and creepy so yes yeah, all the books in my haul yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Bye, guys.